Well, howdy ho, 2P race fans. Got a little bit of something to do today. Um, it's pretty nice out. Got the garage door open finally. So, plans for today is uh, I'm going to make some valve cover hold downs. I could buy some, but I'm going to make some. So, what I got here, you find uh, the old tape measure here. So, what I got here is a five and a half inch. 3 eighths, I think. Uh, 7 sixteenths, maybe. Anyways, uh, I, let's see here, here's, where's, there it is. So what I'm going to do is I have this nut holding this washer in place. And I'm going to weld this nut and this washer in place to this bolt. When I'm done, I will have something like this. It'll just be like this, flat. I hold down the valve cover and uh, this, this will stick up far enough above the valve cover, be easy access, easy to take off. Um, if I ever need to take it off. Uh, so yeah. Well, that's the project today. That's one project today. Um, the other project is maybe getting some stuff cleaned up around here. Um, that and I want to open up the trunk of the Iowa car and take a look where the battery's located and also open up the fuel cell, see if there's any fuel still left in there. <clears throat> uh, so let me get started on this. And uh, hopefully it turns out all right. Just an idea I have. Um, but man, valve cover hold downs, I mean, they're, they're kind of costly. Uh, you know, you can use just little bolts, but when, when you come in off of a race and you don't think something's right, and let's say, let's say you're in the, the last heat, heat race, and you don't make it, and there's a B main. And of course, you know, they... They have, they don't have a B main for this class and they have a B main for your class and you're up next. You got like 15 minutes. Well, your engine's still really, really hot. And if you have to check the valves or something like that, you got to pull the valve cover off to make sure maybe a rocker fell off or maybe something broke and you just want to make sure. Well, you got your bolts way down here. You're going to burn your fingers. It's hard to get in and out, drop them, whatever. This will prevent all that because this sticks up above the valve cover. Um, and it shouldn't be too hot where you can't just spin it off with your fingers, start it with your fingers, uh, put a little ratchet on there, you know, tighten it up real quick and, and you're off. You're good to go. Uh, yesterday I did not video this, but let's see if I can turn this dude around. As you can see, I got the distributor dropped in. Um, I cut the vacuum advance off. I welded. So there is a, a, a long plate in there. Um, and it's a vacuum advance. The vacuum, what it does is it's got this little bar, a little rod, and when you hook it up to your vacuum, the more vacuum you pull, the more it advances your timing. So when you're going down the road. Well, in race engines, we lock them out at a certain degree. Um, we advance the timing to a certain degree, and we lock them out so they don't move. So I welded everything up. I welded the, uh, the weights up. So that's just old school style doing it. I can buy a lockout kit, but I do it this way. I've always done it this way and it's worked out fine for me. Uh, but I've got the distributor dropped in. It's pointing dead nut to, to cylinder one. So it should be ready to go whenever I'm, I, I get everything else done. So the only thing else I got to do is I, I do have to get a, a hold down, which goes right here. Um, and it has a little fork that goes over this and you tighten up the bolt and it holds the distributor in place. So I'm gonna cut the video off. I'm gonna weld up those uh, bolts and washers and nuts and I will be back here in just a few.
Okay, well, I got the first one kind of done. It didn't work out as I hoped. But, so, I really don't even want to show you this, but, so, I mean, it's on there, but what happened was, is the washer is obviously, or evidently, a different metal. Um, and the welder is just a little too hot, so it melted the welder, or the uh, washer. Um, so it's kind of deformed a little bit, but, I mean, it'll still work. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to almost uh, do away with this plan. Except the washer, or the nut. I will weld the nut, that way they won't, uh, they won't back off. And uh, it'll be, it'll only go in a certain way. It'll have, have something to tighten down to. And I'll just, I'll just use the, I'll just get a handful of washers, keep them on hand in case I take it off and I lose one, I have spares. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna do and I think it'll work out better. So with that being said, let's get to welding.
we're back. So I got them, got them all welded up. Uh, I think it'll work out all right. So this is what we're doing. This is the one that I kind of messed up on a bench or earlier. But uh, the other ones, I just welded the nut in place. Got a washer here, go on there. And we'll just stick it in there. Just like that. Really easy. And you'll see, and you see, you see how tall they stand up. So we got them all started. Got my ratchet here. And just ratchet away. Don't want to go too crazy on the torque on these, uh, or they, it'll it'll leak. But just snug them up real good. And... Just like that, and we're we're good to go. Let me get this other side on real quick. I was going to run some different valve covers, but I uh, haven't had the chance to pick them up yet, but that's okay. Uh, I was gonna get aluminum valve covers. Um, these are steel. Like I said, it's they'll be all right. Okay, let's see, we might have a slight issue. There's always something. Okay, so maybe. Let's see if we can get these to start. I don't, I don't know this, uh, it's got an extra bolt hole here. May have to take that back off and trim that one because it's not letting the valve cover come over. And I don't think I can get to the to the holes in the uh, nope. I can't. All right, so I'll show you what I'm working with here. Okay, so this right here. Um, I don't need that hole, but this here is hitting the valve cover and it's preventing it not to line up with the holes here. So I'm going to have to take this off, trim this back far enough to where the valve cover has a little bit more room and we'll be good to go. So with that being said, we'll be back. All right, so I got this trimmed down. I try to get it as even as I could because if I ever sell this, um, I think this is a universal bracket. That's so it could fit a Ford or you know Chrysler or whatever. Um, that's why it's got so many different holes, different patterns. Um, so we're gonna put this dude back on real quick. Shouldn't take too long, and uh, we'll give it a whirl again and just see if that fixed our issue well, I tell you what man in a perfect world I mean it would be great if the world was just perfect no uh, no issues no uh, no problems but every day in life you know we face something but we'll get through it I also picked up another bolt for this. Uh, the other bolt that I had was restricting the movement of the of the, the steering here or the pump here. Um, this is our adjustment to uh, be able to put our belt on and then you know torque it down or tighten it up so that way it won't come off. 
if the bolt here was prevented and I only had like this much adjustment, well now I got full adjustment. Uh, let's see if I can find that guy real quick. Countersunk. It's going to work just fine. Have to get something to tighten her up, but. Yeah, I think it'll work just fine. All right, back to back to the original plans. Okay, so let's see if the valve cover will fit now. that one. It's got to work. Let's take a look at it here in a second. Get these other, get these other two started. Find that last washer. Maybe I didn't grab enough washers because I've got seven bolts in, I've got one left, and I don't have a washer. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we will get her, whoa, the, uh, that nut has a flat surface on it, just with the washer it has a lot more, uh, hold down pressure. I thought I grabbed enough, but maybe I didn't. You know what? I bet I have another one in the shop, other shop. Bet you I do. Before I get too gung ho. We can take a little trip over there, a matter of fact. And we'll just see if we have an extra spare washer. Look how beautiful it is today. Nice and sunny. Blue skies. Oh no. What's she doing? She's going to burn the snowman. <gasps> Frosty's gonna die. Well, now we know how Frosty really died. Because somebody is very mean. I didn't raise her that way. I did not raise her that way. Look at that. Boom. That's why I never throw stuff away. Oh. You learn that when it's a 20 mile round trip just to the store. That's one thing 
I did enjoy about living in town, in the big old city of Frankfurt, is uh, I was, I was like, I don't know, five minutes from any store I wanted to be. But out here, it's very peaceful. I don't have to worry about the kids very much. Um, they have a big yard to play in. They got a whole town. They can ride their four-wheelers and dirt bikes and bicycles. And there's not too much to worry about out here. So. Okay. All right. So. We have. Hold downs. Just five and a half inch bolt goes over the tall valve covers for the roller rockers. They're easier, easy to get to. Shouldn't be in the way of anything uh, at all. So that's good. I did not, I meant to stop at the store and get a gasket for this, but that's okay. Um, I can get it, I can get it tomorrow. No big deal. Um, I haven't decided what fan I'm going to run yet. Uh, I've got, got the whole tape measure here. So, so this 377, he said he wouldn't be scared to take it to 7,500 RPM. I'm, I don't know. We might be able to see. But I do have this handy dandy fan here. Uh, I mean, it kind of looks, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll use this one. Um, I mean, no, it's, nope. Decided I'm not even going to chance it because if that dude flies apart, it's going to burn, it'll ruin my brand new radiator and I ain't doing it, folks. I ain't doing it. Although I did see on eBay that the radiator dropped down in price it actually dropped down 20 bucks so i may if it's still that price i may friday go ahead i may just order man i don't know for that price i may order like one or two more just just to have them you know uh it's always good to have a spare but so i've got this little fan here i believe this is just a little 15 inch fan nothing really i I, th I think it's too small. Um, I kind of like the 17-inch fans myself. I thought I had one laying around here. An extra. Let's see here. This is this is one here. This one here has not been used as much as this one, but it's the same size. If I do not use them. I will put them up for sale. And with the money I get, if somebody decides to buy it, I have a little bit of room down there that uh, I may get the next size bigger and throw it in the car. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But uh, let's see here. This fan here is 17 inches okay well i think i'm gonna cut her short and uh maybe do some cleaning up and may come back here after a bit and uh see what we got going on see you guys